Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a card project using what I call a short and slim card, also known as a mini slimline card. There are many versions of this card size and envelope, and today I'm going to share with you my version. I have a template that I've designed for this a little while ago, along with some card layer measurements and how to cut, score, and fold the card base. So today I'm going to walk you through how to make the card in the envelope, and then we'll make a card project as well. First up, we're going to start with the card base. And for your card base, your cardstock size needs to be seven by six inches. So I'm going to take a piece of regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and across the 11 inch side, I'm gonna cut it at six inches and then I'll rotate it and cut it at seven inches. And then I'm also gonna cut out a layer uh, while I have my trimmer out and I'm going to use these excess pieces of white cardstock to create a layer. And I'm gonna cut it at five and a half inches by three but later on, I'm gonna come back and cut that down. Now, all of these extra little pieces, I'm going to save because I'm gonna use just about every little piece in this card project. So I'll set all of this aside. And then uh, for my envelope, I need a piece of paper that measures eight and a half inches by nine inches. And I've got some 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. This is a light paper, it's not heavy at all. It creates a nice envelope. So I'm going to pick out a pattern and I'm gonna cut this down to nine inches and then rotate the paper and cut it at eight and a half inches. And then I'm going to save all of these scraps and I'm going to incorporate that into my card as well. And we'll come back to those in a few minutes. Let's set everything aside and we're gonna pull in the scoreboard. We'll take the paper and put it in the scoreboard and across the eight and a half inch side, our first score is going to be at one inch and then at seven and a half inches. So you just wanna be careful if you're using a lighter weight paper, you don't wanna rip your paper here. So I'm very gently going to score at one inch and then seven and a half inches. And then I'm going to rotate my cardstock one turn to the left and I'm going to score at two inches and then at six inches. All of the measurements are listed in the Gemvelope template reference guide. You'll find all the information you need for that in the description box down below. All right, let's move along to the card base. And across the seven inch side of the card base, we're going to score at three and a half inches. Now this is going to create a card base that measures three and a half inches by six. And then this little layer fits perfectly on there. Okay, let's pull in our envelope template. So far, this is what we've got. And now let's move into the next steps to create this piece of paper into an envelope. Sorry, we're jumping back and forth a little bit here. It's been a while since I recorded a video and I had some inspiration. It is 2 a.m. in the morning and I just really felt like getting this video done. So I'm following along with my Gemvelope template reference and I'm at step number three, cutting off the sides. Step number four, we're gonna angle cut each of those side flaps. And it's also optional for step number five to go ahead and round the corners. I'm gonna skip that, and I'm just going to crease all of my folds and apply my adhesive. So I wanna make sure I get good sharp creases here and that everything folds together nicely, and my envelope looks pretty and is perfect. So it looks good, okay. Now I'm going to apply some adhesive to that closing flap and the closing flap is the larger of the two. You'll see on the top and the bottom, I have a flap that folds over and then another flap that folds up. The flap that folds up is our bottom flap and the smaller one is our closure. And our card fits perfectly inside of this cute little envelope. I'm going to take some of that scrap paper that matches my envelope and I'm going to create a layer for the front of my card I have no idea where I'm going with this card. I just wanted to sit down and make something and I wanted to share this template with you as I had only shared it in one video about seven months ago and 
I hadn't really done a template tutorial on this particular card size and, and envelope, and some people were asking about it, so I thought I'd, I'd go back and revisit this and share the information with you. So I'm going to take some of those scrap pieces of white cardstock left over from cutting our card base, and I'm going to trim them up, and I'm going to create some dimension. Rather than using any uh, foam squares or craft foam, I'm just going to use what I've got on my desk right now, and I'm going to create, I think, like three or four layers of cardstock to give us a little bit of dimension in behind my panel. So, and then I don't waste anything because, I mean, half the time these little scraps will go into my scrap drawer and then never see the light of day. So if I can use it while I'm making my card project, I'm much happier with that than having it sit in the drawer forever. All right, so I decided to take this little tiny little strip and adhere that inside of my card base and then everything is matchy matchy and coordinates together so the outside of the card the inside of the card and the envelope all have that same pretty pattern paper all right so that looks good and i'm happy with that so now since it's 2 a.m i don't really want to stamp <laughs> right now so i decided to pull out my drawer of bits and pieces inside of my drawer of bits and pieces are all kinds of die cuts and scraps and exactly what it's called bits and pieces I've shared this before when I don't have any inspiration I just go dig through my drawer especially when I make layering flowers I like to make lots I like to try them in all different colors and see what I like the best and then just save the rest for another card and uh, I end up with this massive hoard of die cut things but then when you want to make a quick card you'll find everything you need inside of this little this little drawer so I think that's really fun. Also, sometimes I I can't make decisions. So if you'll notice here, I dig through this drawer, I pull out enough different pieces for like 30 cards and I can't really decide what I wanna do. So I've kind of I have a color scheme in mind and I pull out a couple of things and then I decide to move the drawer out of my view so that I can just focus on what I've got in front of me. And that sort of helps eliminate me from digging any further into that little drawer. So I pulled out all these fun things and I, I really wanted to use them all. I just kept playing around and putting things up against the card and I love the way they look, but I can't, I just wanted to make a simple, elegant card and I, I started to get a little carried away with all the things that I had on my desk. So I tried this little array of lavender sprigs and they're a rainbow of lavender sprigs I mean there's really it's just my imagination I love a good rainbow and if I can stamp anything in a rainbow I will do this <laughs> so uh, I decided to just stick with the teals and then I had too many teals and I, I told myself like just stop already you know like <laughs> stop what you're doing stop the madness this is getting out of control I've got too many things here and I'm just going to be all day here messing around and then I'm like okay I like this I'm happy with that let's stop let's glue some stuff down and move along my sister-in-law has a dog he is a beautiful I don't know I think he's an English bulldog anyways he he's such a good boy and his name is Harley He's very well trained, and whenever he's doing one thing for far too long, being annoying or anything, we always say, move along, Harley, and it's sort of <laughs> become a staple to my life. I uh, I say this all the time to myself, move along. <laughs> I don't call myself Harley, but it, it's a great tip in life. If you're doing one thing for far too long, just tell yourself, move along. So... Anyways, <laughs> let's move along, Harley. Okay, back to my card. I've finally selected my items. I'm gluing things down. I have a little sentiment. I have some flowers. I have a little pop of color in there. And that is it. Super pretty. Um, both of these stamps, this flower and this leaf, are from a couple of Alta New sets. I'll link them in the description down below in case you're interested in those stamps. And the sentiment strip is a tailored expressions, a simple strip. So that's it for this card. This is trending as a mini slimline card. I call it short and slim. 
I like the size of it. It's super cute and fun and different. And whenever you have something new and different, it's very inspirational. Okay, so that's it. Here's a close up look at our finished card project. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I appreciate the support as always. Coming up on screen are a couple of videos I think you may enjoy, including my original video for the short and slim Jumbelope template reference. So have yourself a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!